What is up, Coretics? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for April 4th through April 10th, 2024. In regards to new content, Rockstar has added in their own version of the Random All Races from 5M in seven brand new races called Unknown Races, where you basically transform into a random car at certain checkpoints. This is going to be a ton of fun for sure. But anyways, the current prize ride for this week is the BF Club. It's primarily based on the VW Golf Mark 1 and has a normal price of just under 1.3 million. To get it for free this week, you have to place top four in an LS Carmate series race for three days in a row. In regards to performance, it's in the Compact's class and is the fastest non-HSW compact vehicle in that class around most tracks. It has insane handling and speed. It basically performs like a lower tier sports car. Now obviously the HSW Brioso RA is faster in a straight line, but on most you know, super corner intensive tracks, the BF Club can actually still beat it due to its great handling. Plus of course it has great customization, etc. Definitely recommend acquiring this one this week. But anyways, continuing to the test ride vehicles for this week, we have the Cheetah Classic the Greenwood, and the Comet S2 as well, and none of these were a move website vehicles, so keep that in mind. And for current gen console users, we have the Karen S95 as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Continuing to the Casino Podium vehicle, we have the Windsor Drop. This one is primarily based on the Rolls Royce Dawn, it has a normal price of 900000 This one's in the Coupes class, and is one of the slower cars in that class due to its poor handling but it does have the second highest top speed in that class, which makes it nice for highway runs and stuff like that. Now, do bear in mind that this thing basically offers no customization, which is a real shame, but pretty common for older luxury DLC cars like this. In terms of the dealership cars for this week, in luxury autos, we have the recently added Dominator GT and the Vivanite. Continuing to Simeons, we have the XA21, the Torero, the Dinka Thrust, the Tulip, and the Cheberek as well. And all of these were a move website vehicle, so definitely make sure to pick them up this week if you don't already own them, especially the Torero and the XA21. The XA21 is my personal favorite car in the game and just a ton of fun to drive with this incredible exhaust note. Moving on to the discounts, in terms of property discounts, we finally have a property on sale this week, which is 30% off the bunkers, as well as the upgrades and renovations for them as well. The Bunker is a fantastic business for passive income and one that I highly recommend. Continuing to the vehicle discounts, starting off in Simeons we have 40% off the Torero, which again is a remove website car. This one's based on the legendary Lamborghini Countach and I just can't believe they removed an iconic car like this one they did. It has great customization, a nice interior, a nice engine model detail, etc. Just a really nice overall car and an absolute steal at this price. And in regards to performance, this thing is in top 10 for most tracks. Again, just a really good overall car. Moving on to the Legendary Motorcycle website, we have 30% off the Comet S2. This one's in a sports class and unfortunately is a below average performing car in that class. But other than the performance, the rest of the car is absolutely amazing. Realistic styling, nicely detailed interior, tons of customization. It's just a very well-made car. Next up, we have 30% off the Cheetah Classic. So this one's in the Sports Classics class and is a top three performing vehicle in that class, not factoring in HSW cars, of course. It has great customization, detail both inside and out, just the real overall package, a fantastic car to own for sure. Next up onto the Center San Andreas website, we have 30% off the Greenwood. So this one's in the Muscle Car class and is actually a top 20 performing vehicle in that class which is very impressive for a car that looks this old and slow, but it's actually not slow. It has great handling. I mean, it's just an absolute sleeper, it really is. Plus, it does offer a Monty Tech as well, which is pretty nice. Moving along to the Warstock website, we have 40% off the Dune FAV. So this one has some pretty cool weapon upgrades, but overall, it's a pretty useless vehicle in most situations, as you can get shot out of it pretty easily, and it has no armor, but it does look pretty cool, so I guess there's that. Next up, we have 40% off the Weaponized Tampa. So this one has super powerful dual remote minigun upgrade on the top, which turns it into an absolute beast. 
plus tons of other weapons upgrades as well, making it a pretty great offensive vehicle. However, it unfortunately doesn't have any explosive armor resistance, which is a real shame. So has pretty much the same armor as a normal car. One explosive and you're dead. Lastly, we have 40% off the anti-aircraft trailer. I can't remember the last time this thing was on sale. This is a super rare discount, so if you've ever been wanting to get one, this is a fantastic deal. Moving along to the gun van, we have the following weapons available this week, and 50% off the assault rifle as well. In regards to miscellaneous discounts, we have 50% off the ballistic equipment, which is pretty much a juggernaut outfit, bringing the price down from 500000 to only 250000 in regards to unlocks this week, if you complete a bunker steel supply mission this week, you'll get the Vom Fear camel t-shirt for free, which is pretty cool. Continuing to triple money, we have triple money and RP on bunker research missions from Agent 14. Next up, on to double money, we have double money and RP on the seven new unknown races, plus double money and quadruple RP on jailed contact missions. And lastly, the best for last, we have double money NRP on bunker cell missions, plus other bunker related items such as the bunker dune litter ammunition deliveries. Finally, a business on double money, just fantastic. In regards to the weekly challenges this week, if you complete three bunker research missions this week, which are requested by calling Agent 14, you'll receive 100,000, plus the dollar daggers hoodie as well. And yes, for those of you wondering, even if you have all your bunker research already complete, you'll still get the missions from Agent 14 when you request them. Continuing to the weekly vehicle robberies from the Savage Art Business, again, these only change once per event week. We have the Tigon, the Hot Ring Everon, and the Brigham as well. And sadly, none of these are claimable this week, which is a real shame. Again, as I've stated before, it seems like they're going to be doing this once a month, unfortunately, instead of you know, every few weeks like we thought. Anyways, lastly for the time trials, this week's normal time trial is Tongva Valley. I highly recommend a quick supercar or bike for this one. For the premium race, we have the muscle car race down the drain. I highly recommend the Dominator GT or the Buffalo STX for this race. And if you're on current gen, I highly recommend using the HSW Vigero ZX or the HSW Buffalo EVX. And lastly for current gen console users, the HSW time trial is terminal. As always, the HSW Hakachu Dragon with the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the Torero. It's a remove website car, and honestly, it's just a good car at this price. It's pretty tough to pass up, especially with the detail it has both inside and out, plus the customization, performance, etc. It's just really the overall package. Anyways guys, overall this event week I would say is most definitely an above average event week, a good event week for sure. New races, a business finally on double money, some pretty decent discounts, and some great remove website cars being featured this week. I think this week is a solid 8 out of 10, but as always let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Again guys, thanks again for watching, hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.